is part two of a tutorial on how to use the model of a car in the Blender game engine. Change the layout from default to game logic. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. In the text editor window, go to the text menu and open text block. Go to the folder where you've downloaded your Python scripts. Select the Python script car setup and open text block. Scroll down until you see the function tire positions. The X position for all four wheels is 0.65 blender units. I'm going to copy that, Control and C on the keyboard and paste Control and V. Now the Y position changed because we altered the center of gravity. For the front tires it's 1.29. And for the rear tires, it's minus 1.16. And the Z position is minus 0.2. I'm going to copy that, Control and C on the keyboard, and Control and V to paste. The tire radius is 0.31. We started with the default cylinder, which would have a radius of one blender unit, but then we scaled it by a factor of 0.31. So that's why the radius is 0.31. Now we can do the logic bricks. I'm gonna close the properties, zoom in with the mouse wheel, pan, shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to add an always sensor and I'm going to add a Python controller. I'm going to connect that up. Okay, but I'm going to delete both those now because I forgot to select the car. You must select the car. Always sensor. Add a controller, Python controller, connect it up and select the car setup script. Click start and the wheels have gone through the floor. Press escape to get out of that. And I'm not sure why, but by reducing the Z position to point one. And now if we start, the wheels don't go through the floor. Escape to get out of game mode. In the text menu, I'm going to make internal and that will save the Python script with the blend file. In the text menu, I'm going to open text block and open the next Python script, which is suspension. If we look at the script, it allows us to change settings for tire grip, suspension compression, damping, stiffness, and roll influence. I'll make that internal and I'll add an always sensor Python controller, link the Python controller to the suspension script and connect that up and that will make the car more stable with the settings in there. Close up the logic bricks with the white triangles. In the text menu I'm going to open the final Python script, powertrain, and I'm going to make that internal. Now I'm going to add the logic bricks to control the car. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor and a Python controller and I'm going to link the Python controller to the powertrain script. I'm going to name the keyboard sensor GAS and if we have a quick look at the script, there you can see it's looking for a controller called GAS so if you don't call it exactly the same it won't work. I'm going to press the up arrow and connect that up. Close up the logic brick. I'm going to add two more keyboard sensors. I'm going to call this keyboard sensor reverse with a capital R. And I'm going to press the down arrow and connect that up. And I'm going to call this keyboard sensor left with a capital L. Click the left arrow 
and connect that up. For the controls to work, there have to be six keyboard sensors, so I'm going to add another three. I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to call this one right with a capital R, and I'm going to press the right arrow. This one I'm going to call break with a capital B, and I'm going to press the space bar. And this one I'm going to call E break, capital E, capital B. And I'm going to press B on the keyboard and I'm going to connect all those up. Click the start button to start the game engine. Test the controls. I notice straight away that the car is high relative to the wheels. Press escape to get out of the game engine. I'm going back to the car setup script and I'm going to set the Z tire position to be zero. It was very dark so I'm going to zoom back and select the lamp. I'm going to grab the tip of the blue arrow and move the lamp upwards. I'm going to the lamp's object data properties and I'm going to set the energy to be 5 to make the lamp brighter. I'm also going to change the view to perspective and back to the render button and start the game engine and those settings I think are fine. That's the end of the tutorial. I've put the start file, the end file and the files used at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.